In today's Neighborhood News segment, we're approaching Black History Month. One Michiana woman has been instrumental in bringing African-American artwork to the forefront. Betty Nichols of Cassopolis makes her artwork a top priority. Well, what I really like to do is to, to record um, our past here in America. And Betty Lee Nichols of Cassopolis has spent years doing just that. Her work centers around images of black America. I got a lot of nephews and nieces and a lot of cousins here. I mean, over a hundred right here in Cassopolis, this area. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, they come over and I sketch them. And then what I do is take them out of one situation and put them in another situation. So they, always, do do they always say, when, when are you going to put my face in, in the next picture? So this is the one picture I've done. I think I've did it about 12 times. And each time I do it, I have to use a different cousin or niece or nephew. So this is oil. And this is oil. Betty began painting at the age of nine. Before that, she says she was partially blind and didn't know it. Once the problem was corrected, her life changed. You know, I was just amazed. It was just like a new world. You know, I couldn't believe the sharpness of the lines and the forms and stuff because everything I saw was just, you know, kind of blurry around the edges and just little forms and stuff. The work she's most proud of is this piece, inspired by the miniseries Roots. And what I did from the Roots thing was just made a storyline. Mm -hmm. And then from there, I did a... Um, and what I called mine was real life roots, and then I did a real life roots number two, which dealt with um, the trunk of the tree and the branches, mm -hmm. and where the first one just dealt with the roots part of it. Oh Betty says she paints this kind of art because she feels African Americans need to see more of themselves. She says her biggest obstacle is marketing her paintings. It's a lot of work, and so is becoming a successful artist. So do you? See yourself as successful now? Oh, no. Why? Yeah, I'm, well, you know, I probably won't be famous I get a, to like cut an ear off or <laughs> I lay on my back and make one of those things and stuff like that. For Neighborhood News, I'm Donna Terrell.